Hi, I'm Bruce, and welcome once again to my Colorado Rocky Mountain Lab. <clears throat> Today I wanted to demonstrate and introduce you to a Cronheit Model 5100A generator. It's a function generator. Um, this function generator is in good shape. Very nice looking. Got a beautiful cabinet. And uh, whatever you do, if you, uh, if you ever have one of these, don't throw the, uh, the unit away when you're done with it because uh, the cabinet is worth saving and using for um, uh, any future projects you have. The, uh, the panels can be removed, all of them, and the frame holds the insides uh, so that you can work on them. Um, all you'd need would be a metal plate for the front and uh, you've got yourself a, a beautiful uh, cabinet for any one of your projects. But until that day comes, it'd be a shame to waste such a beautiful instrument. The uh, the Cronheit uh, came out about 1973, this 5100A. They followed up with a 5100B, which I think came in the latter part of the 70s. Um, it produces uh, sine waves, square waves, triangle waves, and then positive and negative uh, uh, ramps. The, um, it has a calibrated uh, amplitude control. Um, it'll produce 10 volts into a 50 ohm load, 20 volts unloaded. But uh, the calibration is for the 50, 50 ohm load, so uh, 0 dB would be for 10 volts output. Uh, minus 20 dB, which would be one tenth of that, would be a 1 volt output. And a minus 40 dB would be uh, um, a 0.1 volt output. Um, the, then there's a, a fine control that allows you to infinitely change the uh, the setting in between. So if you want to have uh, a 10 volt, uh, let's say you want to have 5 volts, you go to the 10 volt range to 0 dB and then you adjust your fine control for half. The amplitude controls are accurate uh, to within plus or minus 0.2 dB. Uh, the infinite um, vernier control Produces a minimum output of 3 millivolts peak to peak and up to your maximum of 10 volts peak to peak under the 50 ohm load or 20 volts unloaded. <clears throat> the uh, frequency response on the unit, it's uh, flat within 0 0.05 dB from 0 0.002 hertz to 100 kilohertz and it's flat within 0.15 dB up to 3 megahertz. Uh, sine wave distortion is less than 0.5% from 0 0.02 hertz to 100 kilohertz. And uh, it's 1% uh, below 0 0.02 hertz or 3% at a max of uh, 3 megahertz. Hum and noise less than 0.02% of maximum output. Uh, you, you can you have a DC offset that you can apply to the signal uh, from 0 to plus or minus 5 volts in an open circuit or plus or minus 2.5 volts across 50 ohm load. There's a rear input that allows a 2 volt uh, signal to synchronize the frequency uh, of the unit to within 5% of its dial range. A uh, 5 volt square wave output exists on the unit and I'm using that right now uh, as an output for a frequency counter. It follows the frequency of the main output. Um, there are two modes to run in. You've got a dial mode uh, where you manually dial in the frequency. And in addition to that, you could put on, when you're in dial mode, you can put a plus or minus 15 volt uh, signal and that will cause a 5% um, uh, modulation of the range uh, that you're on. Um, if you put it into the external minus V mode, 
then a negative going 0 to 15 volt signal will, will sweep the, uh, uh, the frequency orb uh, from 0 to, uh, to its maximum range. Uh, <clears throat> it'll go from 1 to 1,000 uh, of whatever the range is. Manual dial is, uh, is geared. I don't remember what the uh, the gear ratio is, but it's uh, it's got a nice gearing on it, so it's easy to um, to get a little finesse on the uh, on the adjustment. And um, we're going to uh, open it up. We're going to give you a look at the inside of it, and then we're going to run it through some of its paces. So hang on. So okay, just the removal of a screw. In the middle of the panel in the back, and then you slide the panel out, set it aside. Now you've exposed the whole interior uh, from the left side. Same thing from the right. Really a beautiful cabinet. Okay, now we're exposed on the right, or we can see through the unit. Remove the screw in the back on the top. And then you simply slide the uh, the top out. And there we are. It's an impressive looking interior. Power supply in the back here. Here is our range switch. Here's our function switch. This is our uh, manual dial for the frequency. Very clean, very nice looking unit. All right, we're going to put her back together. Okay, right now we're dialed into about 20,000 hertz. We are on the, uh, the 1K range. Uh, we are approximately on the 20 on the dial here. Uh, we're in the sign mode, and we're going to just kind of like change ranges to see what happens. Let's take her up. We're in the 10K mode. We are now reading 200K on the uh, frequency counter. If I go to the 100K range, we are reading... 1,995.5 hertz or 2 million hertz within 5. And let's take her back down, go to a 100 range, and we are getting uh, 1,995.9 to 96 hertz within 4 hertz of, of 2,000. 200 range, 198.8, 1 hertz range, we should be reading, i uh, got a dial of 20 on there, so we should get 20 hertz, we have 20.24, on the 0.1 hertz range times 20 would be 2 hertz, and we're getting 1.99. Okay, after a several second wait, our counter did come into 0 0.2000. Uh, it's in the 0 0.01 range. I'm not even going to attempt the 0 0.001. Just take too long. But the, uh, the unit excels at producing uh, low frequency counts. Okay, we're back to our 1K mode times 20, so we got 20,000 hertz, we're get, 
uh, 20,000 Hertz showing up on the oscilloscope. It's a nice clean trace. If I was to uh, change the range, you're going to see the trace adjust accordingly. Um, we can go to a triangle wave. Maybe easier to see that way. Or we have the <clears throat> square wave. Positive ramp, negative ramp. Very clean. We can adjust the amplitude. You can see again, very clean response. And then uh, <clears throat> demonstrating the offset. We have to be in DC mode. And you can see that our we've shifted our waveform to the negative and we're bringing it up with the control. There we are <clears throat> balanced again and then we start to go positive. So we can move that waveform plus or minus two and a half volts into a 50 ohm load or five volts into an open circuit like we have right now. <clears throat> then we have a symmetry control which allows you to change the negative half of the waveform's time. So like right now we're extending it and then that changes the symmetry of the waveform actually taking that sine wave and making it look more and more like a ramp or a sawtooth. And the uh, same thing would happen for triangle wave becomes a ramp. And we vary the pulse of the square wave. So some interesting features. The unit, it's got a nice uh, little light on the front of it there. Tells us that we're on. Um, okay, well here I am. I'm feeding in a, uh, a negative ramp. A negative 15 volt ramp. Uh, about once a every 10 seconds and um, you can see that it starts out on a low frequency and then it gets faster and faster and faster and that's what that is, is it's creating a sweep it's turned this thing into a sweeper so I am uh, depending on my um, my range, right now we're on the 3 megahertz range, so we were going up to 3 megahertz. Here I'm at um, the 10 kilohertz range, so we'll go up to 300 kilohertz. And you can see it sweeping through that frequency. So you can turn it into a sweeper as well. Okay, we're back together and uh, ready to give a little tour around the outside. So we've seen we have a very nice front panel, good wire stand, good rubber feet. That rear, that bottom panel uh, removes just like the top if you needed to work on the unit. You could have all the panels off and, and yet the board is still framed inside a cage. Um, Okay, so the unit's been turned around. We see the line switch, fuse, a couple of adjustments, and there's our sink input uh, that allows the 2 volt uh, input from another frequency source to help lock in this unit to within 5% of its dial. So it's an impressive unit. Along with it, uh, we have a uh, manual. Uh, it'll be on CD. Uh, it's the user and service manual for the unit. You won't have to go searching for that. So it's a beautiful, well-built, impressive instrument. And I think it'll give you years of service. And I appreciate you listening to me, and uh, happy bidding.